Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you're here. Today is going to be another breakdown video, disassembly video of the Mini Tempest. Um, this is a knife that I've really enjoyed. Probably one of the smoothest knives in the collection. I want to see if I can get it upgraded to some skiff bearings. Um, clean it out, lube it up, all that good stuff. I think all we have here are a couple of T8s, and I am going to real quickly thank all the channel members. Thank you guys more than you know, and if any of you guys are coming through just to check out the content, thank you for stopping by. If you're so inclined and you like EDC content, if you'll please hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon next to it. Really help me out, and it'll update you when I release new content. These Brian Brown screws are typically very deep and typically Loctited. They're very well done screws. Clean that up a little bit. A little clip. This pivot only has the uh, torques on one side. It's also a T8. So I'm hoping when this pivot pops, this knife is going to, yeah, there's a lot of Loctite in there. See it popping off there on the, Let's see what we got. We got some pins back there. We do have a pin in the back. We have a captive pivot here. A little screw. Let me grab something real quick, guys. Let me just grab my little plastic prior. Not that I'm going to need it. A lot of times, just got to give them pressure from another area. That pivot's really, I don't know if that's the Loctite in there. Well, it's not wanting to pop out. There we go. Have to bust that out of there. Bust this pin out. And we're gonna have to clean that up. All right, we got a washer, stop pin, blade with the washers facing the blade, like I would like to see them, but still not the greatest. Not the greatest. These are <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ball. But you can see the track that was on the back side on that washer and the side that was touching the blade. Let's see what these measure out to be on our cheat sheet. <clears throat> Let's see, one sixteenth. Is that a pivot? Three sixteenths. All right. So what we have is allegedly the right size. I would like to clean that just a little bit. I'll clean that blade. Let's just do this. Nothing else will pull some of that dried Loctite out, or at least make it where it's not as much of a pain in the ass. All right, now 
I'm probably going to flip my washers. Put the fresh side down. No real reason there. Got a little bit of weight relief here, but not a lot. Looks like we're number 420. Got Brian Brown on the knife and the blade. Let's take a quick rag and do a quick swoop of clean off our pivot, clean out our scales, and then we'll snap it back together with new There's a cat, guys. I apologize. The only thing I want to do is this pivot because it is caked up. Let's run that through there. See this little detent system here? See how you've got this little this little kick right here. It's very unique. Very unique way to do a detent. I am going to stick my stop pin right there. All right, now I'll get my KPL original. It's something else I need to do too. I need to clean out. Crap from that pivot. get my washer on the fresh side down probably I'm going to want to put a dab of original just to help seal that in a little more original Almost done, guys. We just need a splash of heavy on our little odd detent ramp here. A little heavy right there. All right. Trick is.
trick is to get it all locked together. But the issue Get a little hand twist in there to get it going. And then we'll take our good screw. Tighten it down. Take our clip. And then our clip screw. There's also a body screw. And run it down. Perfectly centered. No side to side, no gaps. It's going to drop like a beast when it gets broken in. My fingers are too slimy to get the reverse flick. There it goes. Great little knife, guys. Very sharp, very slicey. Freshly lubed up. We will take our um, sharp by design bearings. They are ceramic. We'll put them in there. We will take our KPL and we will put it back in our little KPL tray. And we will close up our mess here. And I will ask you guys to thank you first off for coming to hang out at the channel, for watching my disassembly and struggle bus videos. Um, please, if you get a chance, look out for that guy or gal to your left. Look out for that guy or girl to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose to bait, not hate. I love you all. Peace.